Hi everyone, how's it going today? Sorry, until today I have to use this narrator. This is really beyond my control. I have tried my best to restore it. I hope you won't have to wait too long for things to return to normal. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Vatican Museum is home to many remarkable works of art, but one piece stands out above the rest, the porphyry bowl with a circumference of 15 meters. For many years, the creation of the bowl has remained a mystery, with no records of how it was made or who made it. However, recent discoveries have shed light on its true origins and revealed a stunning truth. The bowl was created using advanced technology that was kept a secret until now. The bowl's surface is smooth and polished to perfection, with no visible tool marks or imperfections. At first glance, it appears to have been crafted by a team of skilled artisans, but closer inspection reveals something else entirely. A team of experts was brought in to examine the bowl, and they discovered something remarkable. The bowl was created using a process that could only be described as futuristic. The experts discovered that the bowl had been crafted using advanced technology, including lasers and other high-tech equipment. The precision and accuracy of the cuts could only have been achieved using computer-guided machinery, and the bowl's flawless finish could only have been accomplished using advanced polishing techniques. There is a theory that the bowl may have been created for a giant. This theory suggests that the bowl was not intended for human use but rather for a being of immense size and stature. According to this theory, the giant would have used the bowl as a drinking vessel or as a receptacle for food. What do you think? Did you know about Georges Lemaitre? He was a Jesuit priest. He entered the Jesuit order in 1913 and was ordained as a Catholic priest in 1923. He is widely regarded as the father of the Big Bang Theory. In 1927, Lemaitre published a paper in which he proposed that the universe was expanding based on observations of the redshifts of distant galaxies. He went on to suggest that the universe had originated from a single incredibly dense and hot point which he called the primeval atom. This idea, which later came to be known as the Big Bang Theory. The Pope in Lemaitre's time, Pius XII, was delighted that a Catholic priest had conceived of a scientifically valid creation story for the universe, even though it had nothing to do with the scriptures. Anyway, yes, the father of the Big Bang is a Jesuit Roman Catholic priest by the name of George Lemaitre. As you venture deeper into the underground tunnels near Edinburgh, the mystery only deepens. Despite the official story of a lone blacksmith constructing the tunnels by hand, the sheer scale and complexity of the tunnels suggest the involvement of advanced technology and machinery. Some have suggested that the tunnels are part of a larger network of underground cities and tunnels that span the world, connecting ancient civilizations and serving as a refuge for advanced societies in times of crisis. The similarities between the Edinburgh tunnels and other underground complexes around the world are too numerous to be dismissed as mere coincidence. But what really sets the Edinburgh tunnels apart is their remarkable state of preservation. Unlike other underground structures, which show signs of wear and decay, the Edinburgh tunnels appear as if they were just completed yesterday. The walls are smooth and free of any blemishes or discoloration, and there is no evidence of the soot and wax that would be expected in an underground space that had been used for lighting or heating. So what illuminated this underground beauty? 
Some have speculated that the tunnels were powered by an advanced form of energy, perhaps even tapping into the Earth's natural energy, ether, or other mysterious sources of power. Others have suggested that the tunnels were simply illuminated by an as-yet-unknown method of lighting or powered by some other form of sustainable energy. Whatever the explanation may be, there is no denying the mind-blowing mystery and intrigue that surrounds the underground tunnels near Edinburgh. Who built them, and why? How were they able to construct such a massive network of tunnels without leaving any visible trace of their work? And what secrets do these tunnels hold for the future of humanity? What do you think? Since you have never seen or heard about this in school, I want to share with you all some interesting maps of Tartaria, which is also known as the Grand Tartaria, or simply the Tartary. Flags of Tartaria are usually shown as a dragon, which you can see in the pictures. Here we can also clearly see entire span of Tartaria over into Russia, parts of China, Japan, America, Europe, Australia, and Africa. Now this all sparks questions, not only about Tartaria and our true history, but rather the whole timeline of events that we were told happened during this period, or more likely, didn't happen. Think about it. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.